Good morning, everyone. It's exactly nine in the morning here in uh, India, and welcome to the growth setting program. I know that you all have been muted because we uh, we're going to have interaction. However, the interaction is going to be through chat from your side, and it would be verbal from my side. Those who can hear me so loud and clear, please go to the chat and say yes, clear. Please go to the chat and type clear if I'm audible. Excellent. Thank you very much. So this would be an interactive session. So if you got any questions, uh, you can ask me the questions for sure. You don't have to keep it till the end. However, if your question is taking a lot of time for me to answer, or if it's not related to the topic by itself, we'll be keeping that in the parking lot and we'll be addressing those questions at the end of the session. Is that fine with all of you? Good. I'll be speaking very slowly so that this is not um, a, uh, a charge program or what I call a power program or a power speech where I speak very fast. Uh, this is a training session. This is... Uh, a workshop. This is a mastery program. Therefore, my intention is to be very clear and I need to speak very slowly so that you all can understand what I'm saying because each and every person in this world understand things in a different way. Now, you're here in this classroom right now, which is a virtual classroom. And for sure, each and every individual leader who is sitting right now and listening to me, you're listening the same thing. However, the way that you understand those things and the way that you're going to learn would definitely be different, irrespective of whether you understand the language or not. There are a lot of things that we need to take in, into consideration. Number one, the language is very important. The speed that I speak is very important. The topic that we are going to talk about is very important. Your experience is very important. Your age is very important. So all these elements plays a very major role for one person to understand while you're in the classroom, while in the meeting, while you're having a conversation with other party and so forth. So therefore, I will be speaking very slowly so that you all can understand. Is that fine? If it is fine, if it is clear, please type CC. That's how we're going to interact. CC, crystal clear. Good. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that today being a Sunday, especially in India weekend. Uh, you all are here for the GCC. We're going to have the same session for those who are from the GCC and those who are not free today, even from India. Uh, we're going to keep a session on uh, 28th and 29th, which is day after tomorrow and the day after that. And that would be at 7.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time so they can join in. We are keeping this group very low, very less uh, in number. The reason why this has been recorded and this will be going as an LMS program uh, for the future students to come in. Most probably I won't be taking a live session, but it would be a recorded version. We already have a recorded version with us, uh, which we recorded on about two years back. But this is a updated version and that's the reason I'm coming in forward. And especially being uh, at the very end of the year and people are looking forward to the new year, this is the best time to come up with something called the growth setting program. So how many of you have ever uh, had a new year resolution, say I? Those who had set a new year resolution, say I. Maybe in 2020, maybe 2019, maybe 18, or even before that. Did you ever set a resolution for the year? If yes, just go and type I. Yes, Sumaya, I can see Sumaya. Anybody else who had a resolution? Okay, jolly, very good. Anybody else? Okay, Nawaz, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Anybody? Now, <laughs> I'll talk, thank you. Now, the best of the best part is most of us, we come up with a new year resolution. However, we start 
maybe on the 1st of Jan. It might go until the 7th of Jan, and then you can see there is a drop down in the speed, and then comes a drop down in the consistency, and within a couple of weeks, you stop it. Then you don't even remember where you have kept your diary or your journal. It's there, dusted like every other year. Okay, so this program is a little different from that, and I'll let you know more by the end of the session how we can help you for this entire year. How many of you want my support for the entire year? Say, I love it. I L I. Those who want my support for the entire year. Okay, so that is something that I'll be discussing by the end of this program. So be very much focused. My whole objective, those who know me, those who have attended my session, you know that my mission in life is to help others succeed in life. That's my mission, okay? And that's my goal. And that is why I'm leaving this world, to help others achieve and to help others learn, teach, grow, and excel in their life with the knowledge that I have. So it becomes my responsibility to learn and grow on a regular basis. And since that is my passion, I want to bring that passion into you. If you trust me, if you believe me, and if you want to grow in Excel, then I'll be there to help you. And my team would be there to help you to grow in Excel on a consistent basis for the year 2022, right? So give me a thumbs up now. Just go and type thumbs up. If you don't have the symbol of a thumbs up, just go and type thumbs up. That's the that's whole objective. So this is... This program that you're watching right now is just a stepping stone towards the final objective that I just placed in front of you. What is growth setting? What is goal setting? I'll explain that at a later stage, okay? Until I speak about growth setting, I'll be using the word goal, okay? Till that, okay? Till you understand the concept of growth setting, I'll be using the word goal because that is the word, that is the term terminology which you have been hearing all these days. So I want that to be very easy for you. I want that to be digestive and you must be able to digest what I'm saying. So therefore, I will be using the word goal. And once I clear the difference between what, what is goal and what is growth, then it becomes much more easier for you. Uh, this program, which you are watching right now, I came up with this program in 2018, if I'm right. Uh, yeah, it should be 2017 or 2018. If I'm correct, it should be in 2018, where I had a challenge from my own teacher from the United States. She said, it, it was a challenge not only to me, but her entire uh, students, okay? So the challenge was, go back to your folder, go back to your notebook, go back to the text of the library that you have, look for the content that you already have and come up with a course within the next five days. That was a challenge. And that is called the low hanging fruit. Ask yourself, what is that you already have? And that was a new concept for me. It was absolutely new because for me, if I want to do a training program, I always go and do a lot of research, a lot of learning. It takes time. And then I come up with a program. But this was the very first time when I heard that from my teacher. Uh, uh, it's a female. She said, go and check what you already have. Don't take anything new. That was the condition. The new is high hanging fruit don't go for high hanging fruit go for the lower hanging fruit which you can pluck like an apple or a grape bunch of grape whatever it is whatever is hanging take that and come up with a course within five days and that's how i came up with this course uh for five days and the fee was a bit high we kept it as three thousand six hundred for the same duration that i'm taking with you in my hometown where I'm right now located. And I'm located in Tiru right now. From I'm, I'm speaking to you from my house, my uh, home studio. So we kept uh, this particular program. We kept those fee as uh, 3,500. I remember that very well. And the hall was full. The hall was absolutely full. We couldn't take more people because it was completely jam-packed. And as a request, we did the same program the exactly next week, which I never, ever expected. And the thing is that we were getting feedback from the first batch and the second batch that they were able to achieve that goal, which they did not 
uh, even take the step for many years, they were able to achieve that within one, one week time. And I was shocked myself. This was something new opening for me. And then I came up with the third program, third week, exactly third week. Then I started doing that in other cities. Uh, one of our most successful session that we did was in Hyatt Regency in Cochin, where again, it was full. We had the whole bunch of people, uh, especially entrepreneurs who attend this program. Therefore, I have 100%, it's not 99%, it's, or it's not 99.9%. Uh, however, let me call it as 99.9% .9 because I want to give that one person because that could happen for many other reasons. So as a human being, as a person of vision, each and every goal that you set can be achieved using the system, the proven system that I'm going to teach you and the one that you're going to learn. Are you happy with that? If yes, say yes. It's a proven system. Good, excellent. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. So my question is for you. Do you believe that goal setting is the key to success? How many of you believe? It is an interactive program, so you have to be on the chat. I'll be very slow. How many of you believe that goal setting is the key to success? Absolutely right. Now, you also have a notebook with you, or I have given you a workbook. I know that I sent you yesterday because yesterday I was really busy with some uh, personal stuff. So I had sent you the, 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 the PDF in the group. You might have taken a printout of it. If not, you can take it later on. However, whatever I'm discussing here, the key points are there in the PDF and that's gonna help you. Okay. How many of you believe that you are the commander or the captain of your life? Now, what does that mean? I mean that you have the decision-making power. How many of you believe that? Good. Excellent. Because until otherwise, you don't believe that you don't have the commanding power for your life. You take the decision, then you're on the wrong seat. You must have that sort of belief. And number three, how many of you believe that you can make results and you want to achieve positive results. Now, I use the word positive results. I'll tell you about that. Why did I use the word positive results? So how many of you want positive results? I want you to write PR. That's very important. I'm talking about positive results. Okay, there's a reason behind it. So I want you to put that in your mind. I'm not talking about results. Please understand, I'm not talking about results. I'm talking about positive results. There's a reason behind it. Okay, good, excellent, beautiful. Now, what is that you're going to achieve by the end of this program? Whether you call it mastery or whether you call it workshop, whether you call it masterclass, whatever you call it, what is that we are going to achieve by the end of the day? There are two things that we need to know. One is learning objective. And the second part of it is what is that you're going to achieve? What is in it for me? That's the question you need to ask. So here are the things that we are going to speak and we're going to discuss about and we're going to work about. By the end of the session, you will be able to fine tune your goal. We'll help you in that. Number two, we'll be taking you through 25 steps to set your goals. And number three, you'll be able to write a clear goal statement. Only three things. These are the three things that I'm going to help you. And these three things, if you do, if you practice it, I can guarantee you, let me keep it as 99.9. .9. I said that let's keep that small percent because anything could happen because we are alive. We even do not know that we would be alive tomorrow. Am I right? How many of you believe that? How many of you believe that? We sometimes we set goals for five years, 10 years goals. However, we even don't know that whether we would be alive tomorrow. So therefore, I won't give it 100%. I won't give it 100%. However, with the system or the steps that we are going to discuss today, you will achieve 99.9%.
I have mentioned the timing, which is going to be from nine o'clock until one o'clock. We'll have a short break for sure, where you need to release your bladder, you need to drink some water, you need to uh, get up from the seat and so forth. However, this is one thing that I need to say. If we do not complete up until one hour, oh, sorry, one o'clock, I may extend it a little more. I want you to go slow. I want you all to understand what you're speaking. Are you all okay with that? If it's okay, just type okay. Okay, my timing is one o'clock. Sometimes it may go beyond that. Are you okay with that? Okay, my intention is not to hurry up. My intention is I need to be, uh, I, I need to show justice to what I'm teaching and I need to show justice to the amount of, uh, of, amount of money that you have invested. So therefore it may go beyond one o'clock. That is my objective, okay? It might. So let's look at the agenda. Agenda is very simple. So objective, only three objectives, find your goals. Number two is 25 steps to set your goals. And number three is to write a clear uh, goal statement. These are the three objective and agenda for today's session is only two, very simple. Number one is the principles of goals, uh, sorry, growth setting. Now this is different, okay? Till now we were talking about goals here, but now I'm talking about the growth setting. 80% will be spending on that. The principles, principles, and principles of growth setting, and 20% will be applying that. We'll do the application today. I'll, uh, we'll do one practical session, okay? We'll go, we're not going to do that. That's 20%. However, if you do not know the principles of growth setting, then it would be very hard for you to apply growth setting. Therefore, uh, the, the principles are the foundation of the application. Are you all okay with that? So 80% principle, 20% application. Are you all fine this time? 84% of people don't set their goals. 13% set their goals, but they don't write their goals. And as a result, they don't achieve their goals. It is only 3% of people who write their goals and achieve their goals. If you haven't set goals in your life, and if you're not ready to grow in your life, how can you expect miracles to happen in your life? People fail to set goals in their life for five key reasons. Number one, the fear of failure. Number two, the lack of commitment. Number three, the lack of motivation. Number four, the lack of planning. And number five, having too many goals on their plate. Hi, I'm Farooq Sensi. I help people who are stuck and confused in their lives to unlock their hidden potential and achieve meaningful results in their lives much faster and easier than they could ever imagine. Now here's a challenge for you. Are you stuck in life? Are you looking for clarity in life? If you want to unlock your hidden potential, if you want to achieve amazing results, and if you want to make 2022 a successful year, attend my 5 hours growth setting masterclass that will help you grow and excel in your life. It is growth setting and not goal setting. Growth setting will take you to your goals and beyond your goals. In this practical workshop, I will share the same strategy that made me an eight times world record holder in education, a Les Brown and John Maxwell licensed speaker, trainer, and coach, an Air India first in class trophy winner, a Qatar Airways best of the best instructor to conduct training in 48 countries worldwide, an online coach with students in 139 countries, an Amazon best-selling author, a four-times national karate champion of India, and an Asian brand ambassador to represent two world karate championships, one in Brazil and one in Italy. If you want to discover the techniques that helped me to achieve my goals, click the button and join the masterclass now. This is a growth-setting workshop and not a goal-setting workshop. It will take you to your goals and beyond your goals. I'm quite sure you will never regret. Good. Now, it doesn't matter who you are. You can be a working professional. You can be an entrepreneur. You can be somebody from the sports. You can be a student. You can be a homemaker. It doesn't matter. Everybody needs to set goals in their life. Sometimes we have something in our mind and we achieve it and we don't know whether it's goal setting or not. And that has happened in my life. As I had mentioned in the introduction video that there are many things that I have achieved in my life. However, I didn't know the system how to do it then, but I knew that I need to do something. 
And until otherwise you don't do something, you won't be able to achieve. So that happens to everyone. For example, if uh, you are a working uh, mother and you want to make, uh, for example, if it is uh, 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 a sweet dish for your child, while she comes back from school at 4 p.m., you make sure that you do every other thing at your home and make sure that you make the sweet dish by four o'clock today. That's called goal setting. How many of you got it? That is mentally you're preparing yourself that yes, I have something to do for my child by 4 p.m. By the time she comes in, I need to make something. And then you do all the other activities much earlier. You finish everything and you're ready to prepare the, the dish. And by four o'clock, when your child comes from school, you're ready to give it. How many of you got this? This can apply in all other areas of your life. How many of you got this? Very simple. Yes. Okay, if you got it, you got it. Now, do you have a plan to wake up early in the morning and brush your teeth? Is that a plan? Is that a goal? Yes or no? I need to wake up early in the morning to brush my teeth. Yes or no? Is that a goal? Is that a goal? Absolutely no. That's not a goal. That's not at all a goal. However, your goal could be that I need to wake up at four o'clock. Is that a goal? I want to get up at four o'clock. Is that a goal? Absolutely, yes. Brushing your teeth is not a goal. However, waking up early in the morning. So I want you to understand these two elements, okay? So there are something which becomes a habit. Something that becomes a habit. For example, brushing your teeth is a habit. Waking up at four o'clock is a goal. And once you start waking up for the first 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, one year, two years, now is that a goal anymore? Yes or no? Is that a goal anymore? It's not a goal. It becomes your habit. Just like you brush your teeth, waking up at four o'clock becomes a habit. For me, it's 4.30. Doesn't matter whether my clock rings it doesn't ring. It doesn't matter. Farooq Sensi is out of his bed. Why? It's not my goal anymore. It's my habit. How many of you got this? I want you to type habit. Those who got it, just type habit. So when you turn your goals into habit, success becomes your habit. How many of you got it? I want you to write down makes make success your habit when you turn your goals into habit success becomes your habit i want to type down success make your success your habit make your success your habit make success your habit and that is the reason why every successful person become successful and successful and successful. And that is the reason why the rich becomes richer, richer and richer, and the poor becomes poorer, poorer and poorer. How many of you got it? I want you to type crystal clear. So success is nothing but a habit that you create on a consistent basis. Once again, let me repeat that. Success is nothing but a habit that you create on a, on a consistent basis. Right. Now here you can see a picture of birds flying together. They are migrating from one point to another. And basically they do that for mating as during the mating period. That happens to animals. Now, the river that you see here, or the water body which you see here, it's full of crocodiles and hippos and so forth. However, they cross that water body in order to go somewhere because they all move together during the mating season. The same happens with penguins. The same thing happens with butterflies. 
The same thing happens with crabs. And you can see the, the road is blocked for crabs in the certain states. The road is blocked for the crabs because the crabs move in groups during the mating season. So you can't, you can't travel through that road because the road is blocked for human beings. Same thing happens with fish. There's only one creature in the world which has got the power to take decision. You have the power to take the decision of where you want to go and where you want to take your life. And that is one of the reasons why I ask you, are you the commander of your life? Are you the captain of your life? Because you create the track. You create the track just like a railway track because the train is distinct to go to that particular point because you have already laid down the track. And as a human being, you have the power to lay down the track. Tell me if you agree. See, I agree.